But I think that in order for us to get over the hump, so to speak, I think that we have to uh, engage in dialogue around the question of how do we get here? Uh, that has to be the question that is put before all parties as it pertains to police community relations. How do we get to the point where uh, the relationship has soured as it has here in 2016? I, again, I would really want to see a lot of data. Um, is there any type of bias going on? Again, bias training. So, and then measuring, how are we improving? Are we, are we improving customer satisfaction? You know, the citizens really are the customers, right? So, you know, because of that, 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 that tension that exists, it puts, it puts everybody in a very, um, I, I think in a, in, a, in a very unsafe position because law enforcement uh, needs to be able to feel that they can do their job uh, without being inhibited in any way. Um, but you have a community, and I think this transcends race, ethnicity, uh, and the like. You have a community who feels safe. You know, I, I want to be respected. I don't want anyone to trample on my dignity.